collections, classics, customs, restorations. This is Crossroads Speed Shop. It's time for Diecast Graveyard Super Huge Ginormous Build Up. This is going to be sweet and hot. Hey, welcome to the Crossroad Diecast Speed Shop. I'm Skip. And today on our turntable, we have a Hot Wheels 1970 Chevelle SS Wagon. Uh, the SS Wagon made its debut in 2009. This is a 2023 casting. In reality, the 70 Chevelle Wagon was never sold as an SS package, but Hot Wheels added bigger engines and SS badges. Um, some of the Hot Wheels ones have been made with um, the back windows filled in to make it a sedan delivery. This is a really cool casting, just as it is with all the scallops and hockey stick stripes and stuff. But this car is going to be the casting I'm going to use for Diecast Graveyard's super huge, ginormous build number two with the candy theme. So let's get it in the shop and take it apart. Okay, we're in the shop. We've got the little SS Chevelle station wagon all taken apart. So let's take a look. Again, it's a brand new casting, so it's not really... Uh, much damage or anything to it. The um, the MC5 wheels, uh, they're nice looking, but they're going to go. The base, just chrome. Uh, I'm thinking I might just leave the chrome because I kind of like that chrome base. Uh, it was interesting when I took apart. It's always neat when you take some of these cars apart and look in what's in the back. I mean, here you got you got a blower in there. You've got a, it looks like a, some type of fan belt and different pulleys and and uh, just other other car parts in the back there. Um, and so that's pretty sweet looking. And maybe we'll even take some time to detail some of that up uh, for this build. And again, got the uh, the car. It's uh, got it already uh, tapped and drilled out and tapped. Back, it's only got one screw, so that won't be too bad either to take it all apart and do that. So anyways, uh, Let's get this car casting into the stripper and start this build. Well, like I said, I wasn't going to be using these uh, these MC5s for for this build. Uh, I got some nice. Uh, I think these are six spoke wheels from Sam Ed Wheels, and I'm going to use those. And um, I did have to. I've already I've already trimmed them up, uh, so they're already so they'll fit into the car. A little bit bigger ones, 12 millimeter ones that go in the back, and 10 millimeter ones that go in the front. They just snap right in. This the nice thing about the tabs, we're able to, I was able to pop the old ones out and the tabs. And uh, I'll just set the, uh, like I've said before in past videos, I like to put the um, the interiors in the place to see how how they fit to so make sure that they don't rub if I have to make any any uh, corrections on there, and then. We'll just put the uh, the body on top of that, and I think that's a really cool. I really like those wheels. I really, I think that really looks sharp, and so I'm looking forward to seeing how this whole build is going to come out. Let's move on. Sometimes when you're doing a car and you're doing a custom, all you need to do is just to take it apart and do a wheel swap and and just uh, put a new screw in. But when you want to change the paint and stuff, uh, you you want to strip the the old paint off and and all any decals or anything like that. One of the things I found I think the best is a citrus strip. It, it's, it's a stripping gel. Uh, it's very environmentally friendly. Uh, it's no no fumes, so that really works really well. And so all you do is just put your car into the citrus strip like this. I usually use the hemostats just to hold on to it, and then. I tap off any of the excess and then I set it in a tray that way I can see it some some guys just drop it in the citrus strip and just leave it in there and that's that's fine uh, and then you just have to kind of to dig it out and check it but this way I can I can see it and look at it and say okay the car's ready ready to take in uh, scrub the rest of the paint the paint's all ready to, to just be brushed off so let's move on all right, well, we have our Chevy Chevelle SS wagon all cleaned up as far as the uh, strip. And, and uh, we definitely cleaned up all the paint because we're going to do a paint change color and stuff on that. So but the first thing we want to do is we want to take 
one of these scotch bright wheels and a dremel tool and just give it a sanding uh, just to give the paint something to adhere to and also smooth out any areas that might still be a little rough like that right there so you can see shines up pretty nice and uh, again um, it's a good way to prep before you put the paint on or primer let's move on okay well we've cleaned up the casting uh, got it all all done now and getting it ready for give it ready for prime you can see the difference between what after you use the scotch bright wheel versus prior to you can see how see how gray this is it's much more gray when you strip a case where this one it, it gives a little bit of a shine it smooths it out um, it's gonna look nice uh, it's just gonna help a lot when it comes to laying down the paint so let's get this thing in the paint booth and get it primed up all right well we're getting ready for some of the finishing touches on my diecast graveyards candy theme build uh, getting ready to put some decals actually decals that I got from uh, diecast graveyard for my candy build and uh, so I'm looking forward to, to trying some of those put a little bit of the micro micro set on there put a little bit on there then we take the decal Then I always try to roll out a little bit of it with a, with a cotton swab. And sometimes I just take a little bit. And there we go. Let's move on. Well, here we are. Uh, we've got all our pieces ready to assemble for our, our second build of the super huge, ginormous diecast graveyard build. Uh, this one was a candy theme. And um, what I chose for my candy theme now is the atomic fireballs. Uh, I don't know if you remember those, but I remember those. That was one. I liked candy. What, what kid doesn't like candy? But I remember on Sundays after church, going to the general store, going in there, and they had this whole candy selection that you could get. And penny. And uh, actually, one of the things I liked about the hot balls was you, the, the fireballs was you could get two for a penny. So that was always a, a great thing for that. And so that was the candy, the sweet that I selected for this bill. So I've got the, um, the body all done. I got some nice decals that I got from um, Diecast Graveyard. Paul over Diecast Graveyard did for me. Uh, I thought the flames were kind of appropriate. Uh, I took and uh, detailed out the base with, at first by adding these uh, 10 spoke wheels from Sam Ed wheels. Uh, 10 millimeters on the front, 12s on the back. Uh, I detailed out the, the lights, I guess you can see there. And then the in, inside the interior, uh, I detailed the interior, making the inserts red, painted those red, and detailed up all the little items that were in the back of it as well, as you can see. So let's put this thing together and see what we've got. A few moments later. And here's my entry for the Diecast Graveyard's super huge, ginormous candy theme build. It's a 1970 Chevelle wagon. I stripped it down and I painted it with Wicked Colors Red from Createx. I added 10 spoke wheels from Sam Ed Wheels. For my candy sweet selection, I chose the Atomic Fireballs. Maybe like me, you can remember getting those for two for a penny. The decals were made by Diecast Graveyard. The car was then coated with Diecast Graveyard's 2K Clear. I detailed the headlights, taillights, and the hood pins. This was another fun build, and I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone else is building. Don't forget to subscribe to Paul's Diecast Graveyard channel and watch the recap video and vote for your favorite candy. 
Thanks, Paul, for another fun challenge. Looking forward to build number three. Thank you to all of you for watching. God bless, and thanks for stopping by the shop.